At Armstrong Creek School, inclusivity looks like so many different things. And I think that's the really important thing to understand about inclusivity. It's not one size fits all, it's quite the opposite. And so at Armstrong Creek School, inclusivity looks like every student on their individual basis, having their needs understood and met through high quality teaching and evidence-based best practice. On a more personal note for students, we often get feedback from families saying, you know, my child's been invited to birthday parties and that's something that they haven't had a lot of before. And we hear of stories where the children are so aware of the needs of their peers that they're implementing adjustments for things like birthday parties where they're saying, let's not turn the lights off because um, this, this person finds that hard or don't sing too loud because it would be too noisy for them. So students developing that empathy and understanding but then advocating for their peers and that's incredibly powerful and that will transfer with them for a long time to come. So Armstrong Creek School is now in its fifth year. I'm really proud of a number of the things that we've built as a strong foundation of the school. Fast forward five or ten years, what I'd like to see is that not only are a lot of the strong foundations, a lot of the principles and practices behind what we do here at Armstrong Creek School are still present and consistent, but also that the school has evolved and continued to improve in the way that we, we view inclusion and accessibility to education because to, to stand still is to go backwards and I think we need to continue to think about what that looks like, not just now but into the future.